Hey guys, um, this is sadly the last post planned episode from this major. Present by, presented by Logitech G. Um, as you might have all witnessed, this was the end for us here in Paris. We lost to Fnatic 2 1. Um, Swanee, pretty hard result here. Um, what can you tell me about this game, especially the first map which we won? Inferno was actually pretty close at the end. Uh, we still managed it. Managed to like pull it out. Um, what can you tell me about the first map? I think uh, we can start with the veto because we got a little bit surprised from the veto, where we expected them to ban Infernos uh, and pick Vertigo. So that's also for everyone asking why we left Vertigo into the pool. We wanted to play Vertigo instead of Nuke because we were really well prepared on Vertigo. So we didn't want to go into the decider for the major without being prepared. So just to answer this question and then. Obviously going into the first map, Inferno is our best map. So even though we went down 11-4 on city side, we knew we could easily win and we did exactly that. It took us over time, but Justin had insane clutches to keep us into the game. Both CT and T, he played really well and that won us the Inferno. And what about Ancient? Like, we were actually four, up 4-1. For we actually had a good, pretty good start. And it's, I don't know what happened, but like, it felt like we actually lost the momentum, kind of. And we also lost a lot of anti ecos today. <laughs> I actually cannot count them, it's pretty rough. Uh, what can you tell me about that? Uh, in general, we lost so many guns, even to full ecos. Like, you full USP eco and vertical, we lost like four guns, and we saved the Mac 10. And like, in the long run, this just kills you, even though you're up for one. If you lose one round, right, you are full reset. We had like 1.5k afterwards, and then. It just gets so hard to play because uh, we just didn't do the aggressive stuff that we wanted to do because we were always so worried about our money and being scared of being broke again and that just changes the whole dynamic of having to play city side. Okay, now the, the major is over for us, but we still have like two tournaments before the break. So we have IM Dallas and then we have also like last finals in Washington. Um, how are we going to prepare for those two tournaments? Well, for now, obviously, just making sure that we have enough days off and debriefing the event like in a smart way. Not going into it with emotions, but taking some time off, speaking with facts and then seeing what we do. Obviously, we have two big tournaments to play and yeah, for now, just taking time off, debrief it and make sure we go into the tournament smartly and not with emotions. Right, thank you. Um, do you have any last words for the fans, for the supporters who are supporting us in bad as in good times? Obviously, it's very disappointing for all of us, but don't send hate to the players. Like, we kept fighting until the last minute, and I can promise you that nobody gave up. Like, the team speak was hyped even when we went down. When we were down 6 to 12, we were hyping each other up, and we know obviously we fucked up, but don't send hate to the players. Uh, they are humans too, and it hurts for them to not be part of the last major playoffs. So, thank you for your support, and we see you in the CS2 major, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you guys a lot for your support. As we always say, you're the real MVPs. So yeah, we're really sorry. Um, it really hurts a lot. And uh, right now we don't really actually know what to say, besides of saying we're sorry. But yeah, thanks a lot for your support and see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.